Today we're going to be showing you how to recreate one of these mini vases using one of our clay play air dry kits. You will need a handful of clay, your tool kit, something to work on, either a piece of fabric or a mat, a little bit of water, paintbrush or sponge and an acrylic paint and seal it. To start we just need to half our ball of clay. You can do this by just pulling it apart. Then from here I'm just going to take one piece and roll it into a smooth ball. Next I'm going to take the ball in my left hand as I'm right handed. Then taking my thumb I'm just going to push straight down into that ball of clay. I want to make sure there's at least a centimetre at the bottom there. And then what I'm going to do is put my thumb back in and I'm going to squeeze it against my fingers and I'm just going to rotate it in my hand. This is called pinch potting. Really easy way to make quick little bowls. So spend some time making sure this is nice and even and just tap it a few times to get that nice flat bottom. So here's the start of our vase. So from here, I'm just going to put that to the side. We are going to make some coils up to start adding some height to our vessel. And we're going to slowly incline it to get that shape come in. Just taking another small piece, rubbing with your palms, and then onto your mat, your piece of fabric. And you're wanting to apply even pressure so spreading spooling out your fingers and pushing away from you so with your coil you're wanting to recreate the same thickness and i'm just going to measure it out so i'm going to be sitting it just slightly in this time so that i can start to get some shape into my bars take a measurement now I'm going to score both edges. That just means roughing up the pieces of clay that are going to connect to each other. Then I'm just going to apply some water to both those edges and that's gonna act as my slip and glue those two pieces together. Pushing it on and then just scoring and slipping those ends together as well. Now we're going to blend the seam together, so either using your finger or your wooden tool, we just want to blend that seam out. So just moving all the way around your piece. Now you just want to go through and do the inside seam as well. Once you've finished blending that through, you want to go through and check the thickness throughout the piece and just even out any inconsistencies, smoothing as you go. Now we're just going to repeat that process and with every coil you do it is going to get smaller and smaller to enclose your bars. Now that we've got our desired height I'm going to add a bit of shape to my vessel. Firstly I want to define a neck in my tiny bars so I'm just going to go through and choke the top of my bars. Then I'm going to go in with my wooden tool and push out the bottom of my piece. And that's just helping round out any of those areas that have been pushed in a little bit. Next, we're going to create some little handles. So taking a leftover piece of clay, we are going to make a few little coils. Once you've rolled out your coils nice and smoothly and in proportion to your vase, you want to mark out where they'll go. So just taking halfway and marking a few little notches in the clay itself. Then we're going to measure out our handles. I like to just start a little bit longer and then I can cut it back if need be. Take your piece, placing it on the top and then just slowly bending round. When I'm doing these types of vases, I like to just sit my um, bottom onto the shoulder of my piece. Then once I've found its positioning, taking it off and then cutting the other side the same size. To attach our handles, we are going to just score and slip both the ends of our handles and the placement on our vase. 
Then you want to place your handle on the top and then blend out the handle into your vase before rolling the bottom into position. Then taking your wooden tool, just want to again blend that handle into your vase. And just stick it smoothing out that edge and I'm just doing the same underneath. I'm just going to leave that side when I do the other one. At this point you want to take the opportunity to go through and blend any visible seams on your piece. We do this so that when the piece dries and shrinks we don't have any crackages. Now we're going to leave our piece to dry for about four hours until it's leather hard. This is when your piece is able to be moved around without deforming it but it's soft enough that we can still make a few changes. Here I'm just going to take my trimming tool and I'm just going to round out the inside and trim the top. Once you're happy with your piece, you just want to run a wet sponge all over your piece just to take out any nail marks or imperfections. And then you're ready to leave your piece to dry. So now we are going to paint our little pot. He's completely dried. To test that, get a bit of water and pop it on the clay. And if it dries away, straight away, then you are ready to decorate. So very simply, just going to paint and then leave to dry before applying my acrylic sealer. Um, I've applied two coats of black paint here. Um, we're ready to apply the acrylic sealant. Just want to apply it all over, let dry, and then do make sure that you do the bottom of your vessel as well, um, as this will rub onto your table and leave little marks. So always a good idea to do the bottom as well. Once your sealant is dry, your tiny bars is ready to use. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and want to learn more, head over to clayplayschool.com.